the king of the wasteland. Well, good morning, good morning world. I'm back here in my Minecraft world to talk a little bit about the bees. But don't run away on me, guys. The well, someone is camera shy. Anyway, the bees are not a recent feature. They have been... Well, it is one of the most recent, but it's been out for quite a while already. But it's not something that everyone uses, because maybe they don't think it's that useful. You can't really produce anything you can trade with the villagers. But it does have a lot of nice features that can be used in survival games. Like if you use the shears to harvest some of the honeycombs that I have right here. You can use it to build these new honey boxes. Simply by putting planks on top and bottom, honeycombs in the middle, you can craft a new beehive. Now if you breed up enough new bees, they will be able to get inside. Now to be able to harvest honey and honeycombs, you need smoke from the fireplace. I mean the bonfire. You need the, you basically have to smoke the hives. Because if you don't, they will attack you. And once a bee attacks you, it dies. Which is really bad. Because they are difficult to breed. Most of the time they just hide inside their hives. And if you use a glass bottle, you collect the honey in jars. Honey bottle. Which makes a honey block. The honey blocks are incredibly useful. Uh, yeah, and you can also make these blocks out of the honeycomb. They don't, they don't do anything, but yeah, you see, four honeycombs to make one block. They don't do anything, but they are, they're, they're nice. They're nice to look at. It's aesthetics, really. Just for you know, just for show. And well, if you use different types of redstones and if you build with redstones you probably use slime blocks now and then but in survival mode slime blocks are a bit difficult to collect because slimes are kind of rare enemies so then you can use honey blocks instead because if you have a large enough bee farm well they're kind of easy to reproduce quite a lot now the reason why i put them together like this is because they don't uh, the function with slime blocks and honey blocks is that other blocks stick to them but they don't stick to each other so a honey block and a slime block do not stick to each other which means i can move simple dirt individually without them sticking together which is uh, kind of a nice feature really you know, just a simple, simple fun procedure, things to do. Which means you can also make stuff like this. Well, what I've done here is I put honey all the way around. With two sticky pistons. One uh, elevated redstone. Which allows me to do this. So lift eight blocks, two blocks up. And lower them back down. Now, of course, you can use different types of connections to make it into one button press or one lever press. But this is basically just what I do to show what you can do with it. And if you're still wondering what you can use that for, well, that was the wrong one. There we go. A hidden door. I have covered the the slime uh, where the slimes are with obsidian because slime well honey the honey blocks do not move obsidian which means this will be a solid piece that doesn't move 
and you know you can build yourself a little secret hut inside of a mountain and just hide it completely now if you gather slime blocks fighting the slime monsters this is a lot more difficult to build just a fun simple little thing you know if you like building in minecraft which is basically what the game is for now for the next i'm going to show you it's not well it's not a design that i made it's just a standard feature i don't really know who came up with it so well so i don't know who to well, give praise to but this is a minecraft flying machine make me sound like an old timey fellow a flying machine if you build it out of slime blocks uh, they're kind of sticky and bouncy 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 but you, as you can see it's an observer block with the face outwards and the sticky piston going this way two slime blocks and the same thing on the other side very simple but the thing is if you make a flying machine with the slime blocks you can't really stand on it you have to move with the flying machine so you have to ah, see i'm walking very slowly in the slime and i get pushed off if i don't follow it so i fall Ooh. and the flying machine keeps going without me now to prevent that i could of course just put a block on the back of the slime and have it push me but yeah yep. now but if i use the honey blocks love it do 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 I stick to them I just glide along I really sorry for the noise and then this is probably really noisy well I can definitely hear all the noise myself okay this got really noisy so I'm just gonna cut the video short but as you can see I am flying it's working and there's my little prison maybe i'll do some instructions about the prison later but this was my video about the bees and the okay i'm just gonna jump off <sighs> making a lot of noise but these are just a few examples of what you can do with the honey blocks uh, which is all thanks to the bees so they are kind of useful in their own way because well, if you build with redstone, they have an incredible amount of things to do. It's, it's, yeah, it opens up a brand new world of things to build that are a lot more efficient and, you know, it's really, really nice. I'm going to have to stop those eventually. i just fly over and tear them apart later well that's it for the bees if anyone has any questions or requests on other videos i should make uh, i am doing very simple redstone contraptions i don't want to show off my most advanced ones because they, it's it's a pain to explain so you know if you want if you want to try out redstone contraptions with slime blocks or oh, 100 blocks just experiment try out things play the game it's fun it's a really fun game there's a lot to do so that's it from my world today maybe next time i'll explain a bit about this prison over here and uh, why i have so many villagers locked up so i guess the next video should be about the villagers all right that's about the 10 minute mark i guess that's that's a good video have a good night the sun is about to set a beautiful sunset bye bye